In the biggest primary night of the year, votes still being counted overnight in eight states with the most critical contest in California. All the big jobs there on the ballot and a number of close contests could determine which party will control the House come November. Our chief national affairs correspondent Tom Yamas is tracking all the results from Los Angeles. Good morning, Tom. George, good morning to you and welcome to the jungle, the jungle primary that is. Here in California, the top two finishers, regardless of party, advance in November. Now Democrats in California appeared poised to avoid getting shut out of key congressional races in November because so many Democrats were running in some cases. This was absolutely critical. California, as Democrats seek to retake control of the House in the midterm elections, now they targeted seven GOP-held districts, which went for Hillary Clinton in 2016. They are still counting votes, as you mentioned, but it looks like they will have a Democrat on the ballot in each of those districts in November. That's very important for the Democrats. And I know Republicans were worried about getting shut out of the governor's race. Yeah, that was really maybe the biggest headline last night, George. Former San Francisco mayor and Democrat Gavin Newsom coming out on top. That was expected. He's currently the lieutenant governor, and he's considered the favorite. But he will be running against a Republican with the blessing of Donald Trump, businessman John Cox. Now, Republicans needed that, George, as you know, to attract their voters to the election in November for those down-ballot races. And, 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 Tom, as we said, votes in seven other states last night, a lot of primaries in places like New Jersey uh, and New Mexico. And one of the things we're seeing, it's been a theme all all year long, a lot of newcomers getting into politics. Lots of outsiders in New Mexico. Democrat Deb Haaland will try to be the first Native American woman to serve in Congress. She won her primary and has a really good shot at winning in November. And in New Jersey, though, Senator Menendez survived his primary. This was another big headline, but he barely broke 60 percent, George. A clear sign he's lost some support after that corruption trial where a jury couldn't reach a decision. Okay, Tom Yamas, thanks. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.